How to promote your OnlyFans on TikTok. So what is going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing an educational video for you guys to learn how you can grow your business on TikTok and get more followers to your OnlyFans account. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe down below. There is so much content coming for you guys about how you can make money online. Before we get too deep into the video, if you need any help growing your OnlyFans business, reach out to me on Instagram. My direct Instagram link is always in the video description. I have OnlyFans promotion for guaranteed fans, TikTok management, Reddit management, TikTok coaching, Twitter, Twitter management, literally so much stuff I'm getting tongue-tied. So reach out to me on Instagram if you want help growing your business. The first thing I want to start off with is if you do not have a TikTok account at all just yet, I want you to hold off on creating that account. The reason is, is that TikTok favors new accounts, but you really want to go and sign up for your account as soon as you really have content ready to post. The reason for that is they favor the new accounts. So if you open your account and you start posting right away, you will get pushed out further onto the platform and it will give you more views, more followers and get you onto the algorithm a lot quicker. So I always tell my clients this, we are going to create your account. And even if you have an account, but it's been kind of stagnant, even creating an account and doing what I, the tips that I'm going to be giving you throughout this video, you can test and see if it will work for you. But for my accounts, excuse me, for my clients, if they do not have an account just yet, I always tell them, hold off, let's get your content together first, and then we are going to create your account. So as soon as we create that account, we can start posting that very same day. So now that you opened up your account, we want to focus on the bio. Now there's not too much things that you really have to do, but there is just a few key point information that I really want to give you and kind of make sure that you're doing. Number one, you cannot have your direct um, OnlyFans or Fansly link in the bio. So what you are going to do is you are going to direct them to your Instagram or your Twitter, which I have videos for that. So definitely check them out. So you are going to direct them to either your OnlyFans or your Twitter page. After that, the bio doesn't have to be anything crazy. Sometimes I have clients that that think that this is like a really, really crucial part, which it's not. You just want to have something a little catchy. And then what I normally have my clients do is I will have them put, yes, I like, I don't know why I'm doing quotes. Yes, I have one meaning and implying that yes, you have a spicy page. And then you are going to have two finger emojis pointing downwards to where your other socials link is. Now, two big points about that. The first thing is having that emoji down is what we call a marketing, a CTA, which is a call to action. So you want your viewers and followers to take a specific action, and that is to bring them to your next socials to where they can get to your OF and find you. The second thing about this is I want you to make sure if you are putting a direct link to your socials, that that link works correctly. Because if it doesn't, then you are doing all of this basically for nothing because they're not going to be able to get to where you want to take them. And I say this in all of my videos. So if you watch the Instagram video, you'll hear me say it there too. You always want to make sure that all your links are working. And on TikTok, even in the DMs, you are not going to be sharing your OF link. So you don't put your page in jeopardy. Not like you can't just open up another page. There is so many of my clients that reach out that they want help, but you know, my account got banned or, you know, it got taken away. Totally fine. Let's use another email address and we just keep the ball rolling. So that is definitely not a problem. Now your profile picture cannot be too spicy, but you want to make sure that it is centered. It is good lighting and it is clear on exactly what the picture is for all of my clients. I always do social media audits. And there's so many times where I'm looking at their profile pictures and I don't even know what I'm looking at. 
So quality of your content does matter. So just make sure you got good lighting going on. And again, it's not too spicy. After that is content. So with content, as I had stated prior, you want to make sure that you have content lined up for as soon as you open up your TikTok account. With the content, just like your profile picture, you want to make sure it's centered. You want to make sure it's good lighting and you want to make sure it's not too spicy or you will get banned or I've never really even seen anyone get shadow banned on TikTok. You literally, they will just take away your account. So make sure that your content has all of those qualities and just, it could be super flirty and super fun, but it doesn't have to be and should not be too spicy. Now the recommended time that I have my clients make their video clips and I will edit it for them if they need is anywhere from about five to 20, 25 seconds long. Now you have to understand that with your videos, they have to have a good retention rate. Now, what does that mean? That means it has to have people watching it for a decent amount of time before they swipe off of it. So your content does play a role on TikTok. So make sure again, that you are putting at least a little effort. Now in the beginning, I don't want you to drive yourself crazy. So you're not burning yourself out right away, but you definitely want to take that into consideration. Then one step further than that is to make sure that your audios on your content are good and trending. So I have a specific method that I teach all of my one-to-one -one coaching clients. If you're interested in that, you could reach out to me again on Instagram, not a problem. But with audio, you want to find something that is on its way up a trend, not on the way down. So if you've been hearing an audio, but you see that so many people have been doing it and it's been kind of trending for like a month or two now, you're not going to want to hop on that trend, especially if you're a new page. If you are a new page and you're established, you'll definitely be able to get pushed onto the algorithm with that, um, with that sound. But if you are a new page, you're not going to really get as much traction as established pages with a song that is already going down the trend. So that is a very, very, very big helpful hint there. Your posting schedule. So just like any other social media platform that I go over in all of my other videos, Twitter, Reddit, TikTok, on um, TikTok, we're doing TikTok, Twitter. I'm like so tongue tied today, guys. You have to make sure that you are consistent with posting. So that is another reason why I have my clients make a batch of content even before we start their account. So that way you have content already made and you're not burning yourself out because in the beginning, it is the most crucial to really have a system in place so you don't burn yourself out. Because if you do, you're just going to give up on your business altogether when there is good money to be made on the platform. So what you're going to do is have content ready, but you have to be consistently posting every single day. So I normally have my clients posting or we will post for them if that is what the service that they wanted from us is two to six times per day. Now I know that sounds like it's a lot, but you can always make different TikToks with the same outfit on, just change up your scenery or exactly what you're doing in that video. So that is how I am able to batch my clients content. And what I always tell them to do themselves is you could stay, you know, that same day, you can get as many or as many as you possibly can short video clips. So that way you can get a whole bunch of videos within one day, but you should be posting two to six times per day, every single day. And again, I know that sounds like a lot, but because you can use shorter clips, like a five second clip, you can definitely get a whole bunch of videos all in one go and you'll be fine. Hashtags. So when I first started offering TikTok services a few years ago, hashtags weren't really that relevant. I was getting my own growth and my clients growth, amazing, amazing results 
without the use of hashtags. But now the algorithm is changing, the platform is changing, and we have to change along with it, right? So now hashtags are definitely very prevalent on the platform. But just like I always suggest on all of my other videos for social media, you need to do hashtag research before you just kind of slap a whole bunch of hashtags on your posts and you don't really have anything coincise. Because if you do that, you're not really gonna be placed on the platform correctly. So you really wanna make sure you're using hashtags, but that you do research on your hashtags. And the number one tip that I always say to my clients is just use a hashtag that is as closely similar to what your content is. It's the best way to get yourself in front of a new audience or excuse me, a targeted audience. But please do not use the OnlyFans hashtag and do not use OnlyFans, Fansly, Feet, BBW. Don't use things of that nature. It's gonna be, you know, brunette, bikini, beach, stuff like that, okay? Lastly, something else that has changed on the platform is that content creators before, I would just post my videos and log off of the platform and I would get back on and I'd have like a thousand followers overnight. Now it's a little bit different where they actually are pushing not just the viewers, but the content creators to be engaged on the platform as well. So you really want to make sure that you are engaging on the platform. You are watching other people's TikToks as well. You're liking their TikToks. You're commenting on their TikToks. You're sharing their TikToks. You're saving their TikToks. And this is very, very juicy information, guys. So really pay attention to that. So you are going to be doing that right before you go and you post your next, um, you know, your next TikTok. Also take advantage of the drafts section in your, in your page. So that way you can have all of the things that you filmed right on your page. And that also shows the platform that you are going to be and are a contributing content creator to their platform in which they do reward that as well. So I really hope that this video was helpful and you got some useful information on how you can promote your OnlyFans business on TikTok. If you have any questions, comment down below. I answer everyone. Or if you have any other tips and tricks for our viewers, comment down below. We're all here to help each other out. And again, if you need any help, reach out to me on Instagram. That link will be in the video description down below. Until next time.